VTiger CRM tutorial, how to use VTiger. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with VTiger. VTiger is an amazing AI powered CRM tool that allows you to align your marketing, sales and support teams all together. You can combine all of your inboxes and create a powerful CRM tool that can help you in managing leads and customers. So let's get started. To get started, click on 15 day free trial on the top right to get started with the VTiger CRM. Once you do that, you're going to go on to the next step and sign in with your work email. You can also sign in with Google, Microsoft, Apple, or X. I'm going to sign in with Google just so we can move forward with the sign up process. Click on continue over here. And once you do that, you're just going to click on register. And then you're going to add your last name and the company name. You're going to continue and agree to their terms of service. Once you do that, you're going to tell them how many people are going to be working in your CRM and the capabilities that you are looking for. And then after that, click on next. Once you have done that, you can proceed on to your free trial on the VTiger CRM tool. I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds for our signup to be completed. And right now, our registration process is being completed. You have to re-verify your account. And once you have done that, your VTiger account will be created. Now on the top left, you have this simple navigation menu. And once you click on this, this will pop open your entire menu. In this, you have multiple different tools, including your essentials, which include your basic inbox, administration features, your contact and lead management, and you also have marketing features, sales features, project management, inventory, and a service desk. Now, for any type of CRM tool, the first step is always to set up your contact and your leads. To do that, go into Essentials and go into Contact and Lead Management. In that, you are going to get started with leads. Click on Leads over here. In Leads, you have three ways you can add them. Firstly, you can import them from your pre-existing CSV or Excel file or you can bring in leads with web forms from your website, or you can capture them from Google and Facebook. You can also just click on skip on the top right to skip these onboarding steps. And then you can choose the type of lead you want to add. So you can just sync them up or just manually add a lead. I'm going to manually add a lead like so, and then I can add their company, email, phone number, and who this particular lead is assigned to. Now, this can either be a user or a group that this lead is assigned to. So if my marketing group is supposed to reach out to them or if my team selling or my support group is supposed to reach out to them. You can add more details about a contact, including a summary of your overall contact, more details such as the overall designation they have, the lead status, the industry they are in, and other information points. And you also have touch points with that particular contact. Then any events and tasks that are related to a lead, updates, documents, product, and campaigns, anything that is related to a singular lead will appear over here. Once you've added a lead, the next step is to add contacts. Contacts are usually just people that are already working in, you know, in the business with you. You can click on skip and manually add your contact. You can add them step by step. For most people, they already usually do have a list of contacts that they have from their business. You can click on sync and sync them from Google or Office 365. Then below that, you can go into organizations. Once you go into organizations, you can click on add organization to add the organization's information in the pop-up. Now, once you have set up your basic leads and contacts, you have to start building a ticketing system. You can go into your service desks and go into internal tickets and you can add internal tickets that are going to help you in developing SOPs and ensuring that everything stays consistent. Then after that, you can move towards actually setting up a pipeline for your sales and for lead management. Now you can do that in the sales section and you will see in your sales section, you have deals and forecast and coda. So go into deals over here. And once you go into deals, you will have your pipeline for your sales. So you guys can see it says ready to close, new qualifying requirement, gathering value proposition. And on the top right, you can click on the settings and go into deal fields and layouts. 
Once you do that, a new tab is going to open up. In this new tab, you have all the things that are included in a deal. So the close date, organization date, you can add more customized field, more customized fields that might be related to your industry. Then you can also manage relationships, add dependent fields, as well as set up close dates and approvals. On the left, you can also start building your modules as well as labels for different sections of your pipelines. Then over here on the top left, you have user management settings, you have your module management and then automation. After that, you have configuration, preferences, inventory support, and more. You can customize all of the front end with this simple CRM management on their settings. Once you have set everything up, you can go back into the VTiger CRM and click on new deal. Once you click on new deal, you can add the deal name. For example, let's say this is our hair extension supply or hair extension supply for this particular business. And let's say I would earn 100K with this deal. Then we can add a the name of a organization that might be related to this. So let's say it's called CAT. And when you don't have an organization added already, you can just click on this add CAT as a new organization. And this will add it as a new organization. Once you do that, you can set up your expected close date for that deal and which pipeline it is supposed to be added to. Once you do that, you can select the sales stage. Now in your sales stages, you have new qualifying requirements, gathering value proposition negotiation, ready to close if you want it or then if you lost it. So let's say this is a qualifying lead and we have a lead source we can add as well as who this is assigned to. Once you have completed all of this information, you can add details, touch points, tasks, updates, all as they go into that deal. And in this front end view, when a deal moves, you can simply drag and drop it into the next bar so it can move accordingly. Then on the top left, you can go on ahead and manage your inboxes as well as live chats and codes. You can also go on ahead and go into your essentials, then go into workflows over here and start building workflows. This helps you in automating a lot of your functions for any CRM. Now, the best part about using the Tiger is their pricing. If you take a look at their pricing, if you have the one growth plan, it only starts at $12 with one user. And if you increase the number of users, it doubles. On the one professional plan, you can use the standard application for only $30. And if you want to use a single application with multiple users, then you can pay $60 for both the applications. Then after that, your billing or your pricing is going to vary according to the number of people that are using the tool. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.